Hello folks, uh, now I'm going to talk about some examples from limit comparison test and I'm going to have two examples today and the first example is a sum and starts from 1 up to infinity um, is the square root of n to the 4 plus 1 divided by uh, n to the 6 plus 2n minus 3 You see, um, we have a plus one here, and there's a minus three and plus two in here. So you, if you, I mean, if you really want to use the comparison test, you will see um, it may just fail because you're adding a one, well, which will make the denominator larger, which will make the fraction larger. But you're also adding two n minus three to the denominator, which will make the fraction smaller. So for this problem, the best choice will be a limit comparison test, and how it works is just here's the way so you see the degree of the top kind of looks like 2 I'm not saying the degree but kind of the degree because you have n to the 4 and you used to take the square root so it's just 2 and at the bottom I have the degree to be uh, you see it's just 6 so by this way my choice bn will be uh, n squared divided by n to the 6 which is 1 over n to the 4 this is my bn. That's how I choose it. And you know, sum of 1 over n to the 4. This is just a p series with p equals 4, which is larger than 1. So this is a convergent series. So we're going to use that later on. So let me compare this. This is my an. So, so now I look at limit of an over bn. So this quotient as n goes to infinity. So we have limit at the top, we're gonna get a n, which is square root of n to the four plus one divided by n to the six plus two n minus three. And at the bottom I have just one over n to the four. So now if you rewrite, we will have the limit. square root of n to the 4 plus 1 divided by n to the 6 plus 2 n minus 3 times we have n to the 4 divided by 1 so that's what we get so you see if you really want to write down n to the 4 under the radical that will go under the radical as n to the 8 so if you write this one down we're gonna get limit I'm going to get under the radical, I have n to the 4 plus 1 times n to the 8 divided by n to the 6 plus 2n minus 3. And now if you distribute that one, you will get limit to the top, we have square root of n to the 12, and then plus, we get n to the 8, and at the bottom we have same n to the 6 plus 2n minus 3 so that's what we have and uh, now if you take the limit you see the largest power of n here is just n to the 12 and here the largest power of n is just n to the 6 so if you really write this down that will be limit of square root of n to the 12 divided by n to the 6 I can just write it in that way I take the largest powers of n because they are both polynomials and you see this will be a uh, limit of n to the 6 over n to the 6, but which is namely 1. And you see, we take the limit of an over bn, and this is a uh, positive number, which means that these two series have the same behavior. So I can just say by limit comparison test, uh, given series is also given series is uh, convergent as well so this is the first example you see I mean you take the limit and you pick mainly you just really fill up the remaining degree by 1 over n to the 4 to make the limit positive so original limit is 0 because the degree has larger I mean the denominator is larger degree but 
Once you fill it up to enter the 6, you get the limit to be a positive number, so the limit comparison test can be applied. And the second and the second example that I can work on, so this is this was the first example. Now the second example that I can work on is just a sum n starts from 1 up to infinity. Uh, this is 2 plus 3 to the n divided by 5 plus 2 to the n. And you see you add a 2 at the top and you add a 5 at the bottom. So adding a 5 at the denominator will make the fraction smaller. And adding a 2 at the top at the numerator will make it larger. So limit comparison, I mean regular comparison really doesn't work. The direct comparison. So for this example, you can really use uh, the limit comparison test by using the exponents that you have in here. So I'm going to write down bn to be 3 to the n over 2 to the n. And we're going to see how it works. So, but first of all, you see the sum of bn, which is the series is 2 over 3, 3 over 2 to the n. And here, this is geometric with r equals 3 halves. And you see absolute value of r is greater than 1. So this series is basically uh, divergent. We know that. We have to keep this in our mind. Uh, look how this works. That's my bn and this is my an. Look how it works. So I look at limit of an over bn. So limit of an is just 2 plus 3 to the n over 5 plus 2 to the n. And at the bottom I have um, 3 to the n over 2 to the n. So if I flip and multiply, I get limit 2 plus 3 to the n, and then 5 plus 2 to the n, multiplied by 2 to the n divided by 3 to the n. So you distribute this, and you see you're going to get limit. At the top, I'm going to get 2 times 2 to the n, and I'm going to get plus 6 to the n, divided by... 5 times 3 to the n plus n of the 6 to the n. You see I multiply 2 to the n by 2 so I get that. I multiply 2 to the n by 3, 3, 3 to the n so I get 6 to the n. And at the bottom I got 5 times 3 to the n and then 2 to the n times 3 to the n. And now it's time to divide everything by 6 to the n because that's the largest, biggest exponent that I have. And you see, if you divide that one, you're going to get limit. If you divide that one from the first term, so that will be 2 times 1 over 3 to the power n plus 1 divided by 5 times, you see 3 over 6, that will be 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. And as you see, as n goes to infinity, this power will just go to 0, and that one will go to 0. Because here you see 1 over 3 and 1 over 2 are less than 1. So the limit here will be again, like in the previous example, this will be 1. Which is a positive number. And we see that this geometric series was, you see, remember, it was divergent. So, so by limit comparison test, uh, given series is... is divergent as well. So um, this is how we really apply the limit comparison test. These are the two good examples, the uh, different types. And um, I hope this will this will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.